Muckers, before we get into this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Over 85% of people who are subscribed to my YouTube channel within the last couple of weeks are not subscribed. So I would really, really, really appreciate it. I'm going to be here every day. I would love to have you, so please consider it. Anyway, on with the video. Hi muckers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing very well. Okay, today we are talking about Rosanna Pensino. Now, okay, I don't know where to begin with this, but basically, if you're aware of the Rosanna Pensino lore with Mr. Beast, you will know that Rosanna was featured on one of Mr. Beast's uh, game shows that he did, or like, you know, competitions. And it was in, I think, SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles, uh, where like a bunch of creators came together and it was basically one wins all the money. And I think it was going to charity, um, but basically one of them wins all the money. And it was basically this big creator hide and seek. Now, Rosanna started speaking out against Mr. Beast very, a lot, a lot, probably a year ago. And... She started going on different podcasts talking about him. She went on the Just Trish. She went on H3. She was doing just like interviews about Mr. Beast and her time working with Mr. Beast on that hide and seek show and competition. And basically was saying how uh, with the editing, they made her look like she came in a position where she didn't. Now, she wasn't going to be the winner in the end anyway. Like she didn't win. But basically she was saying that they were replacing her in the edit with people that actually lost, you know, behind her. And she was just really frustrated that the, that she put so much time into this um, competition and show and that the edit didn't show her in the light that she, you know, said that she should have been shown in, you know, whatever place they said she went out, she actually didn't go out in that place. And she was basically very annoyed at that. Um, and again, went on a lot of podcasts talking about it and now is speaking out against Mr. Beast again, um, this time to do with a more broad topic, which is the Mr. Beast games. Now, if you do not know what this is, Mr. Beast has an upcoming show coming out and basically to be a part of the show, this is what it was. To apply to be a part of Mr. Beast's show, you have to submit a one minute video and uh, suggested topics to include in your video are why you want a spot to compete in the Beast games and what you would do with the winnings. You're also asked to upload uh, two recent photos of yourself, one selfie and one full length photo. According to the press release, Beast Games is gonna be the biggest game show in history of television with the most contestants and the biggest prizes ever. Now, basically, Mr. Beast said that Amazon have given him full creative control um, to make this happen and he hopes to make the YouTube community pride. Now, this is something that has already been filmed and is coming out um, on Amazon. And again, the show preface was basically that anyone could compete in it and anyone could take the earnings. And it was basically like a, a normal people version of the show Squid Games, I guess, because Mr. Beast has been so obsessed with the, the concept of competitions and people winning and people getting eliminated. And again, this was on track to be like one of the biggest shows that a YouTuber will create. Again, Amazon gave him full creative control and Rosanna is actually speaking out against it. And now again, she was in like the YouTuber version of one of the show competitions he did, but the ones she's speaking out against now are the Mr. Beast Beast Games. So I wanna preface that this is her speaking out on behalf of people that are coming to her with their stories. This is not the same story that Rosanna was saying last year, okay? Just wanna clarify that to kind of get the confusion out there. But basically she wrote, the news about Mr. Beast Beast Games is disturbing. Hashtag Mr. Beast, hashtag Beast Games, hashtag Amazon. All right, let's get to it. Hey guys, so it is time for a video because oh, I have received hello. messages from over a dozen people involved with the current Beast Games. For those of you who don't know, Beast Games is a competition show ran by Mr. Beast that will be on Amazon. Prime. I want to see how much they said that was actually. Beast Games competition series from YouTuber Mr. Beast ordered by Prime Videos. So again, one of the biggest. Uh, with a five million dollar payout. Wow. Competition show ran by Mr. Beast that will be on Amazon Prime. It is being marketed as the biggest competition show ever. I'll talk more about that later. My favorite thing that people do, like Rosanna's done this, Taddy Westbrook's done this, Daniel Prada's done this. 
is when they're gonna do like an exposed video on someone, they get their hair done, they get their makeup looking, like she looks amazing right now. And it's like the exact concept of like Taddy Westbrook in the Bye Sister video, like that makeup was on, that hair was great. With Daniel Prada, he had that skincare glowing, he had that hair ready. It's like, my favorite thing is like, I'm like, oh, I love the preparation where you're just like, you wanna look your best in this. And I'm like, I just love it so much. She looks amazing in this. On to the messages. So the messages that I have received from contestants on the show are pretty much all telling a similar story and I find them to be very disturbing. Some of the messages are from people who are, have competed and they've been eliminated. Some of the messages are from people who are still competing and some of them are from people that I personally know who are involved on the show and still still doing so. These people are genuinely upset about how things are going. They're scared for not only their own safety, but the safety of their friends who are still competing. Um, they aren't doing this out of spite. They're doing this because they are afraid for themselves and for their friends. As of right now, I have 10 stories from 10 different people and none of them have shared their stories with each other. And I will be talking more about them in the future. I have personally worked in entertainment and on sets for almost two decades and what is going on here is beyond disgusting and extremely dangerous. I wanted to read you one of the messages with the permission of one of the contestants to give you an idea of why I'm so upset and why I simply just can't let this go. It's absolutely not okay. So I'm going to read to you her message. I was a contestant until the end. I also didn't accept their hush money. It was really bad. People were having seizures because they were not getting medication, even though we were promised we would. And it was 100% rigged. They presented it as though the game would be like Squid Games, basically a type of game show where all the games are an even playing field. That was not at all the case. All the games were about speed and strength, so only the young athletic males were at an advantage. And obviously the issue with this is very clear, but just to clarify as well, the show literally was stating that like anyone can compete. Like any age, anything, you can compete and you are standing with a chance to win this because again, Mr. Beast is so giving, you know, he's gonna give the money to anyone. It could be your granny, it could be your sister, it could be your daughter, it could be your brother, it could be your father, it could be your grandfather, like, but with what Roseanne is being told here, that, you know, if the competitions are literally catered towards such a niche demographic, then obviously it's not a fair competition for everyone and it should not be marketed as that at all advantage over the women and elderly people were also casted to make things worse men started realizing not the competitions being about speed and strength by the way and they have all the old fucks trying to do them like granny climb that wall who's gonna do it better the granny or the 20 year old that they could take out the women without being eliminated guys started tackling and hitting women Two girls were tackled and passed out on the field and were dragged off to continue filming. I saw people with broken bones, stitches, etc. And most What is happening on the show? What are the what are the, the competition things? Like what are they being asked to do? Fist fight each other? I don't know, but also this is like completely so believable with Mr. Beast anyways, because all that Mr. Beast would care about would be getting an entertaining show. And it seems that allegedly at the hands of getting an entertaining show, you are like actually putting people in severe danger, which anything for the edit, right? Like anything for the show being as, as entertaining as possible, but like these are real people. We're women. We were given maybe 400 calories Ooh. a meal and only fed every 12 hours. Damn. Food would run out and people would fight over, steal, and hoard food. Water was scarce and kept running out as well. I had to sit with a bloody pad for- What is going on? Also, this is Mr. Beast's responsibility, but also, what are Amazon Prime doing? Why are you allowing a show like this to happen? Aren't there people in place that are literally, like, welfare so that this doesn't happen? What the hell is going on? Two Anything days for a good show. before I could get undergarments and my reusable pads because I'm allergic to regular pads. 
We were also sleep deprived, only allowed three to four hours. We all slept on the floor in the stadium in a $10 sleeping bag. I get that people saying it's a game show and it's not meant to be easy. I'm not saying it should be easy, but it was presented like squid games where competitions were not biased and didn't exclusively cater to young athletic men. People who went signed up for squid games not for American Ninja, Warrior, and Survivor. Why else would they cast elderly people on the show? They offered anyone who lost $1,000 to sign away their rights to join any kind of class action lawsuit of any kind. Now, if that is true, what's being alleged, the only reason that you would be preemptively trying to pay people off into silence is if you know that you're putting them through something in which they could come for you. But also, from the signs of it, this show is still filming. Like, an investigation? Can that happen into what is actually going on here? But also, it's going to be so ironic because everything that's being, you know, alleged here, it will be seen on the show. Like, you, if this is true, you will see that the elderly will go first, the women will go second, and then who's winning? The athletic man. You know what I mean? Like... It's so easy for this to be proven without anyone else having to speak out other than just this one because of how the show will go. But also by the entertaining factor of people being thrown to the grind and all like this. Like this is not going to turn out well. Like this show needs to, like this show will be the final nail in the coffin for Mr. Beast's career. Thank God, oh my God, we like, oh, Mr. Beast is so annoying. <laughs> I didn't sign, so I didn't get the money. After this article came out and things started blowing up, they called everyone back and decided to offer an additional $1,000 per person to make up for any of the inconveniences. They knew it was bad because they also offered to provide therapy through their insurance. And it wasn't Amazon Prime that called me, it was Mr. Beast's crew. We were set up to fail. And when the men started tackling people to get them out, nothing was done about it. They were not even eliminated. The game that had to do with the briefcase, it felt literally like Hunger Games. While Mr. Beast is standing on his podium, looking down, watching all of us peasants fight for a chance at five million. I know it's a game show, and I know it's not meant to be easy, but even with a waiver, it is a company's responsibility to have safety protocols in place to try to prevent injuries. That is not what was happening here. The fact that the nurses at the hospital in Las Vegas are also confirming all of the injuries that happened is proof. They did not have to sign an NDA. And five of us so far have tested positive for COVID. Also, someone was allowed to go in with pink eye, which of course is also contagious. Now, this contestant has shared even more details with me and I'll keep you updated. I have even more statements to come. And just as someone who has worked in entertainment and on sets, professional, huge professional sets for years. Um, Escape the night. I've seen people being treated different ways, but this is absolutely unacceptable. Yeah, okay, let's talk about it. Now, again, all it will take will be the show coming out to confirm or deny these stories. And there's gonna be no way around that for Mr. Beast. Like, if this is the edit, there's, if this is what happened, there's only so much you can hide that in the edit. Like, this is going to be a disaster for him and also, this full concept of Mr. Beast content really bothers me. Like, I just, the reason I, I really have a distaste for Mr. Beast is everyone glorifies him as someone who's good with his money. Now, let me refresh your memory on, on who else people used to say that about. David Dobrik. These people are not great with their money. They make so much money that giving it away allows for so many different facets when it comes to tax and stuff. I can only assume it can be used for content. I don't know. I don't know this for certain. I have no proof of this. But if Mr. Beast is giving away all this money and making content with it, he can then argue in tax. I don't know if he's doing this. I'm just saying a hypothetical. He could then, if he gives away 10 cars, he could then claim in his tax, you know, that those 10 cars were actually for business purposes so they need to come out of his tax bill like there's loopholes like that i'm not saying that's what he's doing but it very much so looks like it 
So he's not this person that people praise him. But even if he was, can we drill back the context of like a billionaire, millionaire, multimillionaire constantly making content about the average person begging, trying to get some sort of money off of him? It's not the almighty savior that you think it is. It's actually just like this hierarchy that's so weird. Well, I'll keep you updated on this. I'm sure Rosanna will not stop talking about this. So I will keep you updated as she talks. And let me know your opinion down below. What a disaster this show already is. Can we be done with the Mr. Beast era? Like, can we just like, can we let him like, just like fade like David Dobrik? Like, please, I'm begging. All right, I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye.